What is money anyway? Yeah, it's just paper that some king on the mountains said was worth something. You know, gold, I understand, it's shiny. And you can make jewelry out of it. Silver, put a world in front of me, he's dead. Brass creates the bells that make sound throughout the land. But we kill each other for paper. The idea was to get us out of gold, silver, and into paper because those paper instruments were very easily corruptible. But, of course, taking everything electronic is an order of magnitude further in terms of uh, facilitating systemic crime. This is the whole point of creating this, this cashless electronic world. Is it's, it's that much easier to uh, rape and pillage financially. And, and, and of course, this is, this is what we're dealing with. It is an organized crime paradigm where everything is run exactly according to the, the Mafia handbook. These guys are not the job creators, they're the job destroyers. This man is a crook and he needs to go to jail along with his 18 other cronies. You need to break up the Federal Reserve. This man is a crook. You look at the what we rely on in the United States, the, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, they're currently insuring $6.7 trillion in deposits. They have less than 1% on hand to well, cover they have, banking run. They have $60 billion, and they have a $500 billion credit line at, at the Treasury. So $565 billion backing up $6.7 trillion. There's no way they can guarantee the deposits they're supposed to guarantee. And if they start letting the banks steal them, what you're looking at is a chain reaction collapse that will wipe everyone out. A JP Morgan analyst comes out and says he predicts four and a half percent negative rates in Europe, three and a half in Japan, two and a half in the UK, and one and one and a half in the United States. And I said, my God, they are actually planning to hoard everyone into the banks and then take their money. They've all locked arms and said, you know what, we're gonna look out for ourselves, we're gonna look out for our interests and our partners and our those who belong to us, and screw all of you. Screw the American public. You are all a bunch of peasants. You all deserve nothing. You all deserve to die. That's basically the path that has been made. Pensioners flocked to Greek banks on Monday morning, hoping to withdraw their pensions, and many said they feel let down. I mean, the whole thing is a con, and now it's breaking down. That's what we get to watch. Every time I go into a Costco, and I just watch these people herd around Costco, it's like they have a sense of entitlement that they can just walk into a place like Costco and buy basketfuls of of food and and a lot of the stuff is stuff you don't even need and I, I i just wonder i mean do they do they really understand what's what's the, the tidal wave tsunami that's that's coming at us and they just don't care or are they just completely you know whistling past the graveyard there's no turning back here i've been saying for the last week or two i wholeheartedly believe that the end game has started, that there's no turning around, central banks aren't going to be able to come in and QE and, and buy another year or two. I just think that, that it's all coming apart, and I'm, I stand by it. There's going to be disruption. There's going to be an economic crisis, yet not collapse, depending on how bad things get. So, what do you do? Anybody who has the means or the resources, I would uh, uh, suggest, if you haven't already, uh, start taking control of your financial future and start building a stash of physical precious metal. And at least you can insulate yourself somewhat from the coming financial reset, uh, if, as, and when it occurs. And I do believe it's coming in the very near future. So many are still asleep at the wheel. They're locked in their iPhone. They're undernourished and they're really not awake. And then there's nothing like a wake-up call for a paradigm shift to take place, which is taking place. But to us, stares them or their personal lives in the face and they say, what happened? I mean, I like one of my favorite expressions is there's three kinds of people in the world. There's those that make things happen, those that watch things happen, and those that say, oh my gosh, what happened? Unfortunately, in my study view, about 80 percent of the American population are going to be in that third category. Oh, what happened? But we kill each other for paper. I had to admit, that's sad. You can eat 50 dollars. I'll show you my product box. <laughs> <laughs>